Them all. We use them all. Okay, I just wonder if you can kind of make this paper. Yellow, I guess. Maybe that one. Not a lock, but got the the other end of it too. Asia. Yeah, but I think what I did. How would you describe hepatic veins to a child? Um, what I'll do? I would just describe. I can go swap it out for one of the germs. Uh, it's hugging the liver. Touching, you said? Hugging. Hugging. Yeah. Hugging. Hello. Oh, well. I don't want to say boobs, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hugging. Yeah. It does look like that. Okay, take a couple minutes, talk to your neighbors. And how should we describe the portal veins? They bring a blood from our intestine with all good nutrients mm -hmm. to leave it to check if it's good nutrients or not good nutrients. If it's bad nutrients, we deactivate them and. <laughs> then let him go to the right heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else add anything? Say the yeah, they breathe our nutrients to our liver mm -hmm. and then to go out to other places. Uh, they don't take them uh, out, yeah, just yeah, bring yeah. to the liver. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From the food we eat, right? Yeah. Yep. And then the how to describe the right liver lobe using directional terminology. Right liver lobe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right liver lobe. Do you want Fatima? I'm I'm not good at doing directions, but I would say right upper quadrant, like it will be up here. Um, is it what else? <laughs> oh, the lateral side. Your lateral side. More lateral than left. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Sub diaphragmal. What's that? Uh, below diaphragm. Oh, below. oh the uh, diaphragm. Uh, okay. Right dome of diaphragm. I would say this. Right. 
Okay. And then how to describe the left liver lobe with directional terms? Medial? Sorry? Medial? Medial and, yeah, it's epigastrial area. Protected by like the rib cage, right? Or no, the rib cage. Is it protected by the protected by not all of it actually. No, no, no. Oh. Mm -hmm. This this is the one that um, is n not necessarily under the film. What is the film called? Bear area. It's in the no. bear area. Is that what it is? Bear area. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Oh, Diaphragm. it's it's actually peritoneum mm -hmm. on it. Only mm, on the top we have a little spot, bare area. Mm -hmm. It's on top, and I, yeah, it's not to right or left in just the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? I think it's enough for for location. We can say it's um, anterior to pancreas. We can say it's anterior to. Oh, um, uh, you said yeah. posterior to pancreas? Uh, no, pancreas is, uh, is uh, I would say pancreas is slower, inferior, inferior, inferior yeah. So superior to, yeah. Anybody else? Anterior to the IVC, what's posterior to? It's superior to the kidney. What is it, top right here? Yeah. What do we call it? Oh, the hospice. Okay, how about left liver lobe? Wait, I missed that. What did you say to costals? What now? Posterior to your costals, to your right costals. Okay, left liver lobe, where are we at? Epigastrum. Left upper quadrant. Slightly left of midline. Just slightly inferior to the xiphoid. Who lives lateral to him? Spleen. Who lives between the spleen and the left liver lobe? The reason we have you NPO. Gallbladder. Stomach. Oh, gallbladder's going to be on your right side. You said that you roll your patient when it comes to it. Okay, so where are we on our patient? You are not wrong. Where are we on our patient? 
uh, epigastrium. Uh, upper epigastrium. The epigastrium, how do we know that? Because mm -hmm. we see where uh, hepatic veins uh, went to the uh, IVC. Yep, so we're just below that dome, right? And are we sad or transverse? Transverse. All right, and then how can we optimize this image? So say we're looking at this right level mode, how could we optimize? How do we clear the water? What would we do with our hand? The patient's right shoulder, right? You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay. Where are we here and how can we optimize? Subclavial. Uh, meet with clavet. Clavicle. Midclavicular, subcostal midclavicular, right, because we're in that kidney land. And we're in sagittal because we're seeing the kidney in length. And how could we optimize this image? Uh, d change the depths. Yep, are we seeing any dilution? We don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe, could be. <coughs> okay, how can we optimize this and where are we? So you see, this might be a tough one for you guys to see. IVC is obliquely transverse. Main portal vein because that was the common bile duct combination here. So we are in sag or transverse? 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 Yeah. Slightly like 10 o'clock. Main portal vein might be a little more like 10 o'clock. We'll learn that in lab real quick. And how can we optimize this thing? What is even happening here? Dark. Too dark. Remember, we talked about that gray scale, that dynamic range, the contrast or compression. We probably need to increase our number of shades of gray. We're either going to decrease our contrast, make it less contrasty, or increase our dynamic range. It's the same thing, but there's two words for different sides of the coin there. Okay, neighbor time. Okay, here we go. So take a couple minutes to go over these four. While you do that, I'm going to go grab some water. In number between portal and hepatic veins. Portal veins, they do have. Uh, hyperhygienic walls. Uh, How would you say that to a patient, uh, to a oh, child? I forgot. <laughs> More bright walls uh, than hepatic veins. Mm -hmm. Looks like what? Peace sign, the long peace sign. Peace, peace sign? Yeah. <laughs> Describe the structures of the portal triad as if talking to a child. It's like Mickey Mouse ears, and his face is portal vein. He's Right ear is duct and left ear is hepatic artery. The right one is what? Uh, duct, um, how do you call it? Um, Common bile duct? Uh, 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 bile duct, bile duct, duct, yeah. Does that Describe how focal zones and depth are used to optimize images using appropriate terminology. Mm. Oh. 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 Focal is it the same thing as the, fo the focus one? Focus button? Yeah, focal zone and focus is the same, I think. Oh. Focal zones are where you move the like triangles on the side. Mm -hmm. It's your area of best vision. Can we say it? Sure. It's bringing attention to the important aspect. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To go that better, deep. Yeah, better, uh, I forgot what is TGC. TGC. Um, 
So brighten the folks or make it darker in the, in the areas. So those little buttons on the side. Oh, uh, just you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can brighten the fire or make mm -hmm. it darker. Uh-huh. I see. So what's the difference between 2D and TGCs? Uh, overall image. Brightens overall image? Yeah. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. Focus, one is focus and second is brightness. Okay. Good job, guys. We'll get it from the. <laughs> We adjust depths to don't see further, we don't need to see further, and focus something you really want to pay attention it could be mm -hmm. anywhere on the mm -hmm. picture we already have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Depth, to the left. depth it's i don't want to see father anymore yeah but it makes the image clear or what you want to look at mm -hmm. clear and more uh, it's focus word. yeah focus uh focus primary yeah. uh, i don't know what i'm trying to think more clear, I would say. Focus, yeah. it's more clear. It's like photograph. Mm -hmm. When yeah. you're in focus, you are not blurry. Yeah, with too much, it takes more energy, so less energy. Mm -hmm. It's putting in less depth, right? For the machine. Uh, for the machine. There's more area, higher power. Right, right that's right. Yeah. We don't describe it right now. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> Don't <laughs> trick yourself and us. Yeah. yeah. But. Every time she does these, I'm like, oh, I need to study more. Exactly. That's very true. Don't choke, please. <laughs> Mickey Mouse, when the, ma the face is a portal vein, uh, right ear is a duct, how do you call it? Common bile. Bile duct, and the left ear is a hepatic artery. How about focal zones and depth? Depth, it's what we don't want to see further. We change the depth or when we don't want to go through the bed. Yep. And we learned today about PRP, right? So our PRP is to turn fire depth, and that indicates to our machines the area or the level that we don't want them to scan past. We don't want them to miss any of the signals that are going on that PRP. How about focus on? We want our focus on because this is that hourglass, our lateral resolution. That's where we have either numerically low in value, and we can determine the two structures as separate because numerically low. And so we want that area to be at or below. 
own public imaging. If we have too many photons, then we degrade our telomeres and we can't get that or the scanning or machine can't pick up. Okay, 2D and TGCs. I feel like we're often spouting happening in financial environments. 2D is like overall uh, imaging, like right. brighter or darker. Mm -hmm. And then TGCs are, you can choose uh, what area you want brighter or darker. And what, what are we kind of making brighter or darker? Not our noise, but there's a magic word for that. Amplitude. Amplitude. So we're going to have to start working with that term a lot because amplitude is a big deal. That's just our volume. But we don't use the word volume. We're sonographers. We're physicists. So we use the word amplitude. So would you say we're brightening our amplitude? Yep. We're increasing or decreasing the amplitude of returned echoes. Uh, can you explain uh, when we kind of increase or decrease our depth, when is our um, resolution better if we're, so basically when we... It's just PRP. So um, we'll talk about, remember we talked about the axial resolution today, down our beam. So there's three ways that we can evaluate what we call spatial resolutions. One of them's going up and down, the other one's going horizontal, and the third one's going like forward backwards, like the other part of the hourglass. And that's called element, and we'll talk about it in that. So in order to move that spatial pulse length we talked about today, if I would squish that chart together, my actual resolution numeric value is decreased, which is good. And so increasing my frequency, more waves out per minute. So that's gonna that's gonna decrease numeric value and improve my actual resolution. As far as the hourglass goes, we don't know this yet, but we use what's called phasing. We're actually pointing these beams in specific directions, and we can get that hourglass waste to shrink up even more. And then you will lower the numeric value for resolution, the better. And the way I put this, I'll give you a little hint here with Justin Bieber, but if I'm at Justin Bieber and he doesn't have his glasses on and I'm standing next to my friend, he's gonna think I'm just an enormous person. I'm like, no, Bieber, it's me, it's me. I'm not like three people wide. It's me, it's me. He puts his glasses on and he's able to resolve me and my friend or friends as two structures that are separate. So the lower the numeric value that he can see, the lower uh, numerically that he can say, oh, I can see a foot here and a foot here, versus all I see is three feet, then we're going to blend those together. So resolution, you always want to lower numeric value. So would resolution be better when I'm really close to the structure? Not necessarily, because all that's going to do is place that structure somewhere on your image. But we could adjust that focal zone up and get that waste of the hourglass to specific areas. So that's one way that we can manipulate our resolution. I could increase my frequency, so even if we're looking at the same depth, I could increase my frequency, and that's like Justin Bieber putting on his glasses. I didn't change. My depth to Justin Bieber didn't change, but now he's able to see me as a separate structure at the same time. So that's the Pardon me? Yep. So it'll be increasing frequency. We're not about physics here. We're talking about gallbladders. Yeah, we're uh, So for TGCs, is that also amplitude? Or? And it's amplitude at specific levels of our. Okay. okay. Yeah. I want to make sure that we have gas. So where 2D is increasing or decreasing the volume overall for the image uniformly, this is just. Identify. Hello. 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 Hello.